Here's the beautiful Martha home. It is a Charleston, 10 by 30, and it has a beautiful skirting that she had done, which is, I think she had wood put under that, and then they put the coating over that, and then it looks like pieces, like the fronts of brick, so it looks like there's bricks buried down in it. It's just beautiful. She has done an excellent job. Let me get this around here. LP siding, which of course is good for ever. And then beautiful up in the eaves for wood. It's such a nice, nice model. This is one of my favorite models because it's, it's big, but it also is not chopped up. Sometimes they get chopped up when they get bigger. So I really love this one and, and of course it has a bedroom downstairs, so that also gives you plenty of downstairs living. But up in the top, there will be a loft. I'll take you up to see that. Martha had put in a ramp that um, for herself and her dog. She has a dog, doggy, um, and uh, so this is good for lots of reasons. And she also put a handrail on. I'll just walk you around. Before I do that, here is the shed that stays with the property, of course. This is located in Newport, Tennessee. The house will stay on the lot. Um, you just have to go to ITH and get approval to stay here. It's just starting to get to be real spring around here. Just a beautiful look on the outside. Very nice. She did all the right things. And then this is, of course, her single parking spot. All right, we'll go ahead and go in. space. This is her living room. Plenty of room for a little love seat. Dog crate for her doggy. This is a fireplace but it actually holds a TV and I believe this is going to stay as part of the sale. The fireplace will heat 500 square feet, so it does put out heat, and there's also storage in it, and plenty of room for the TV. Anything you see here is negotiable. There's a couple of items that she wants to take with her, but um, she's she, for instance, will leave the little love seat, the rocker chair, which actually is a recliner. from the other angle she has a beautiful divider up there to hide the storage that she has in the loft I'll take you up there in a minute she's put on a really nice shelf that you could put decorative items on at the top and let's go ahead and just go through the kitchen while we're here and then I'll take you up to the loft all right this is a piece that she has lots of storage in from her kitchen 
comes with a cooktop and you can put your microwave up here. This is actually a, a convection oven and it is negotiable as well to GE and she's willing to leave that behind. Small shelves up there, those are sweet. She's got an ice maker here, which we all love. And the ice maker will stay. Curtains will all stay, of course all the blinds. And then her kitchen, she has the farm house sink. She has a refrigerator Galanz that is a retro style. There is a, she took the handle off because she was getting her washer and dryer in, but that she has that to go back on. And then this, of course, is another sliding door for the bathroom. So this is the bathroom, it has a little sink, lots of storage over the toilet, and this is a 32 inch shower. Now I'm going to take you up to the loft. Okay, she's got a curtain up, which is great. And the loft is a 10 by 8. It's got the wood on the floor. Very nice. Lots of storage up here. Okay. Let me go down and we'll get the overall picture of me. So she just closes her curtain back up. You can see the divider from here and then you don't have to see any of the storage if you had that or if you had a bed up there you could have privacy for that person as well. Okay and that's it. And then we go straight back into then from the kitchen we go right into her bedroom which has another barn door and Here's the bedroom in the Charleston. It's a full-size bed. You could definitely put a queen. You could probably put a, well, you could put a king if you wanted to. So there's plenty of room. This is so nice for first floor living. You don't have to go upstairs to go to bed. She's put on the beautiful plantation shutters from Lowe's. They got, she got those installed, which are super nice. It makes it look a little higher end. She's got room in, a, in here for her desk with a chair, lots of storage. So she has a, actually has a closet in her bedroom as well. At the bottom is the water heater, 19 gallon water heater. And this is her closet. So plenty of room for hanging things. There's plenty of room for, for whatever you would like to put on the top. Uh, bulky items or pillows or blankets or anything a basket up there All right and here's That's pretty Here's the loft one side she's put up the dividers Just to give it a little decorative touch And in her bedroom she also has her Stackable washer dryer. The washer dryer is 24 inches GE model. Stackable. It's what most most people have these in their ho tiny homes here at Newport and the incredible tiny homes communities. Yep. Nice. And the door barn door so you can have some privacy from your living room plenty of room for uh, I love the 
of the side tables she's used there's plenty of storage in those so they fit right in there and she's got one two three four five drawers oh that's good that's very very effective right there i like that you All could right. actually do more up on this wall you could do a high shelf and get more storage uh, or decorative pieces there's plenty of wall space in here to do things and of course we have a fan with a light and the beautiful ceiling. The price is one hundred and nine thousand one zero nine zero zero zero. For more information, please go to the description of the video and also there's Martha's email address listed there as well.